If you ever get the chance to work one-on-one -on -one with an eccentric billionaire, make sure their security system is extra faulty. Just take my word on that. Ex Machina, written and directed by Alex Garland. And this is actually Alex Garland's directorial debut. He's actually written a bunch of screenplays. He wrote 28 Days Later, Never Let Me Go, Dread, Sunshine, and now he's writing and directing his own movie, which he should have done a long time ago. So Ex Machina is basically about Domino Gleason's character who wins a competition to help Os Oscar Isaac's character figure out if the AI he's created is an actual AI by putting her through the Turing test, which does basically just that, to figure out if she is a true AI. Oscar Isaac's character lives in an isolated, wildernessy part of the world in a house slash lab uh, where the whole film basically takes place with him, Donald Gleason's character, and the AI named Ava. This is one of those movies where I can't really say much else about the plot without feeling like I'm spoiling it, so we're going to talk about other stuff. Like how the acting in this movie is really, really good. Again, Oscar Isaac plays the eccentric billionaire genius creator. You can tell kind of from right off the bat that there's something a little off about him, seems a bit sketchy. He is a insane genius. But again, a bit a bit skeevy. You're not too sure of his intentions, and you're basically in the same boat as Domino Gleason's character in terms of, you know, getting to know this uh, Oscar Isaac's character and being a little freaked out by him. But Domino Gleason's character is pretty adorable. He also does a great job of the movie. He and Oscar Isaac have great chemistry together. And uh, Alicia Vikander, who plays uh, Ava, the AI, is really, really good as well and also has um, pretty good chemistry with Domino Gleason because they uh, have a lot of scenes together. The writing is also really good. You do get caught up in the dialogue so much so that you become okay with the fact that the movie is a little bit slow. But there is a reason for that because it's all about build-up and getting to know the characters. Obviously the writing is going to be strong because Alex Garland is a seasoned screenwriter, but it's just an added bonus that he's also a really good director. I guess the one minor kind of negative thing about the movie is the fact that it's an AI movie, so you know that ultimately the message is going to be don't go creating AIs, because it's usually, almost always, not a good idea. So that kind of makes the movie a little bit predictable, but the movie as a whole is definitely an original take on the whole AI storyline. And it's also good that the story focuses on three main characters. All in all, Ex Machina is thought-provoking, well-written and directed, incredibly well-acted, and definitely something worth checking out. It's not a mainstream movie, but there have been a lot of ads for it on the internet anyway, especially uh, before YouTube videos, and so it is getting a good amount of publicity, which is always good to see for a really good movie. So that's why I'm going to give Ex Machina a nice and a half. I'm really itching to talk more uh, specific parts about the movie, so, uh, especially the ending. So, I'm saying it now, I will make a spoiler video for this movie. I'm saying it now, on camera, so it better freaking happen. Let me know what you guys thought of the movie, and uh, just out of curiosity, what's your favorite AI movie? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Okay guys, that's it for me. Hope you're having a great day, and I will see you soon. Toodles!